Mothers Matter series highlighting an alarming trend every year. 50,000 women in the U.S. almost die due to pregnancy related complications. And every year, 800 mothers do not survive. According to the CDC Foundation, maternal mortality is dropping dramatically around the globe. The one exception, the United States where the rate is actually rising and it's getting worse, especially for black women. Black women are three to four times more likely to die during or after childbirth than white women. But many of these deaths are preventable. That's why the state of North Carolina created a program helping women with the highest risk factors. And now other states are taking notice and creating similar programs. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez is live tonight. And Tanya, this is a lot of information that's very hard for some moms to wrap their head around. You know, as one doctor put it to me, you would think that it wouldn't happen here. This is the United States, the greatest country in the world. But it is. Women are dying from preventable pregnancy related causes, which is why this story is a powerful lesson for every woman, especially black women, to speak up and advocate for your health. <laughs> the joy of raising Jalea. A gift Jessica Carter questioned if she'd ever have, especially when she thinks about the daughter she lost. There was a lot of shame and regret behind losing her. You know, questioning if it was your body. Did you speak up enough? Jessica was 20 weeks pregnant. Her blood pressure was sky high, something she says her doctor caught weeks earlier and then did nothing about. By the time she went to the ER, she was told it was her life or the life of her unborn baby. If I would have taken my original doctor's advice, I would have sat and just waited and waited and waited and I would have died. Pregnancy related complications are skyrocketing in this country. I was DC. This was a heart attack. I was scared for my kids. According to the CDC, the United States is the most dangerous place in the developed world to give birth. In Dr. Angela Morrison's Rock Hill office, she says too many times women put their own health last. We cook, we clean, we take care of the babies, we manage things, and that's what mothers do, that's what women do. And so a lot of times we get so busy doing those things that we don't take time for ourselves. For black women, the mortality rate is even more perilous than their white counterparts, and the gap is a chasm in South Carolina. For every 14 white women who die, there are 57 black women who do. That's four times more. And even when socioeconomic status, access to care, age, health, and other factors are controlled, black women still die more often, prompting even the CDC to claim there could only be one cause, racism. We've dealt with you know, people treating us a certain way or not acknowledging our concerns. We've dealt with that and I think we accept it more. Mm -hmm. We're not as demanding yeah. and maybe we should be. But in North Carolina, something positive is happening. There's still a gap, but it's closing. North Carolina crediting a program called Pregnancy Medical Home that identifies pregnant women with the highest risk factors and gives them access to care early and often. The program being used in hundreds of doctors' offices in North Carolina and is now having so much success, other states are looking to model it. Back in Dr. Morris's office, she's vowing to ask more questions. Any contractions or bleeding, leakage of fluid? And spend more time. You just have to have an open ear. Okay. So all that's good. Listening for clues, watching for warning signs, hoping to prevent a complication before it takes a life. And on our website, WCNC.com, we have an entire section dedicated to this important topic. It's called Mothers Matter. There you will find the stories of women who died, but possibly more importantly, valuable information that may save the life of a woman you love one day. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. So